Ooh, welcome back to the channel, guys. This is different. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Ooh. Trying a new game. I don't know what it's about, but we're going to try it out. Oh, I'm on a boat. Well, where's the start button? Oh. You know to look around? Huh. That's interesting. Oh, I just had some Chinese food, I guess, and smoked a cigarette. That's weird. Oh. Well, look, I must be Edith. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning with the house. <clears throat> This is interesting. My brother Milton disappeared when I was four. It was like the house just swallowed him up. Wow. Someone had put up a chain link fence, but it looked like I wasn't the first person to hop it. Huh. All right. Ooh. It's my family tree. <clears throat> Let's see what the options are. Hmm. Alright. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Well, look, it must be the mailbox. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh, that's cool. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Man, the house is way over there. driven this way in a long time, but I saw a few hoof prints. That scared me. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Holy cow. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Who builds a house like this? What kind of madness is going on here? What the crap is that? Dragon.
What the crap? As a Can child, I... the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. No kidding. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. Well, at least they recycle. <gasps> Holy cow. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. I'm going back out. Oh, come on now. The power had been turned off the night we left. There is no dust on anything. After seven years, I think there'll be some dust somewhere. Oh no, the door is open. For the first time in years. I felt like I was home. This don't look like a house that's been empty. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. Look, the dishes have been done. Are you serious? Empty Chinese food boxes. Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had Chinese a lot. Or how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Oh, I don't know which way to go. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. This is pretty interesting. Nothing in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. No kidding. Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. So let's not buy a table. Let's just buy a bunch of books. So we can stack our TV on. That's weird. Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Hmm. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. This is creepy. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. He's alive. A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. What the crap?
Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Wow. And we can't get in because it's been hosed down. Look at that. Huh. Well, I guess the only other place is to go up. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with if she hadn't died in 1947. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Holy cow. Not just yet. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. What is up with all these books? Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was 10 and she was painting my portrait. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother, Calvin. Now, how does that... I don't understand. Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Oh my gosh. How am I not tripping over this? paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's gonna happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep.
thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. I'm glad. things that night. I kept eating and eating. chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. What? to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. This is a weird game. I jumped and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. Suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Looking up and seeing mine. 
pulled him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Wow. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Kid needs to... I oh rolled off my the cliff goodness. and into the ocean. Now I was hungrier than ever. Bottom, 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 bottom. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Get him! Ah, oh, yeah. I tore off her flipper. a monster and I smelled people up there. I love you. What you doing? You have any jelly? I should. Game is weird. Something I had to have. 
so I swam towards it. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Huh? I love you too, baby. I really love you too. I got closer and closer. All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know. Well, that was interesting. I'm not yeah, sure if I weird. believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. It's called, uh, crap, I don't remember the name of it. Something about Edith Finch or something, and it's like a mystery. And I just found this little girl's room and read her diary, and she was I got talking about. I had spent a lot of time here. She's talking about how she before my mom was hungry, course. and she woke up and started eating everything, and she started changing to different animals. And then she made her way back into her room and said she she knew the thing was under her bed, this monster, and that she would be delicious. Weird. <clears throat> this will be obvious later. But my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore in their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. What? Thank you, though. What is it, peanut butter and jelly? Yeah. Yeah. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Okay. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Uh, this story is getting pretty interesting, so just tune in tomorrow for more. And I hope you have a great day.